We've been watching the patterns yes. of the tsunami debris, and there are a lot of people. There's quite a science to how oh, they're moving through oh, the ocean. There really is. And I mean, you know, think of all the things that affect it the storms, right. just the general currents that we mm -hmm. have going. And there's some areas that are like the garbage patch of the Pacific, where a lot of stuff just kind of circles. Just believe gets it or not. stuck in it in a exactly. circular motion. Exactly. So yeah. we really don't know what to expect, except there's a lot more coming our direction. It is. So that'll be interesting. How about some more summer heat, too? Let's do it. Oh, man, it's so beautiful outside today. Check this out on our live pinpoint weather a live picture in McMinnville. It's 82 degrees right now. What a beautiful night over at the Aviation Museum. 77 degrees of the current temperature in Beaverton, and it's 76 right now in Lake Oswego. Our high temperatures today, how'd we do? Well, we'll get to those in a second, but first, it's 80 in Portland and a northwest breeze at 8 miles an hour. What's interesting is last night at this time, it was a northwest wind that was gusting to 21 miles an hour. So this is a lot less ocean air getting inland, and that tells me a slower cool down tonight. Now here are our highs, 81 in the Rose City. Salem, you're making up lost ground by hitting 80 after a kind of a cool start and the clouds really hung on for you. And then 80s and 90s east of the mountains and as you go south down towards Medford. What a day, I tell you. 81 degrees, not even in the neighborhood of our records. Look at this very week in 2004. We were all whining about the heat, and these are still the records to beat from this week. So it was 100 degrees on this very date just a few years ago. But today we had the morning clouds. They fill up the I-5 corridor. Look at this. It's like, you know, just in between the mountain ranges, that ocean air gets nestled in here, and then it takes a little bit of wind and a lot of sun up above to stir things up and get things cleared out. And that's exactly what happened today. Now, Tomorrow, I don't think we'll see as much ocean air making it down the Columbia River or cutting in through the southern Willamette Valley. The result is it's sunnier sooner. In fact, I think a lot of us start with sunshine, and that means a hotter day tomorrow as well. I've also been tracking a few lightning strikes in far southeastern Oregon. A lot of people camping and traveling this time of year. Looks like central Oregon, you're still out of reach of the thunderstorms tomorrow, and northeastern Oregon, same thing. You should be dry. It's really only the southeast part of the state that has a chance of much action. What about the coast tomorrow? Patchy morning clouds, otherwise mostly sunny skies. Look at the temperatures in the I-5 corridor. 81 in Kelso, 87 in Eugene. So it's mostly sunny, and that leads to a warmer afternoon. East of the mountains, temperatures will be in the 90s a lot of places. I think we'll make 90s in Burns and Pendleton and also parts of Central Oregon. So great day if you're over on Lake Billy Chinook. Maybe this is your week in Central Oregon. 82 in Cascade Locks, 85 in Hood River. A little bit of west wind, but it won't be significant. And up on the mountains, gorgeous day tomorrow at Government Camp 70 for a high temperature. Now let's talk about the metro area. We're starting out in the upper 50s tomorrow morning in the Portland-Vancouver area. We'll see 85 for a high temperature in the afternoon. Let's go to the other side of the West Hills. Here we go. West Siders, you're looking at mid-80s as well. Lake Oswego, 86. And those of you in Beaverton should hit 84 with just a few patchy morning clouds. Most of us start with sunshine. If you're in Camas, 86 for a high tomorrow. And we'll start the, end up that warm in Clackamas as well. Portland will be 85. And up north we go. Salmon Creek at 85. And Scappoose, you'll be 84 degrees tomorrow afternoon. What about eating lunch outside tomorrow? Already sunny and 71 at noon, and then we'll top out at 85 degrees. Our seven-day forecast, Thursday looks almost as warm. And then as we get into the weekend, I think the big difference is, Kelly, the morning clouds come back, and that will make a difference in our temperatures. It'll be more like today, actually, which mm -hmm. I haven't heard a lot of complaining today. You know, no, cool yesterday, was all right. yesterday there, were some, there was some whining going on that the <laughs> summer wasn't turning out nicely. Uh -huh. And then today, all of a sudden, the weather's a lot warmer. Okay, thank you, Bruce.